great, great pleasure to welcome uh, Sumati Krishnan to the show. Thank you. Thanks, Sumati. Thank you. Thank you, Jaws uh, India, for supporting this event. And, it's our uh, pleasure. Uh, and uh, being one of the media sponsors for us. How, how did this uh, name Dreaming Damsel came, came about? So we're thinking about, I got this idea on my way to India in the flight mm -hmm. and I thought um, if you looked at Ravi Varma's paintings and it actually started by thinking about this cottage. This cottage was built somewhere in the mid 1800s, early 1800s. Around that time in the same era you will find that Raja Ravi Varma also oh. lived there and if you looked at the architecture of the veranda here, it's similar to the Kilimanur Palace that he was not exactly the same but similar to it so I thought why not we adapt some of the this environment to present the art forms that are so you know uniquely Indian so that uh, when viewers come they get a full context of it from a positional spatial from an emotional from a you know sensory perspective right so it's going to be held on the 16th and 17th of May uh, starting what time at 2 30 to 4 o'clock it's a part of the Anywhere Festival. The concept of the festival is to take art forms out of traditional venues where venues are so expensive. And why would you not when, you know, Australia is so beautiful mm. and we've got the lovely outdoors here. Um, I'm very grateful to the Heritage Society for supporting my idea um, and coming forward. I mean, this building is very precious to them. But, um, yeah, I'm really privileged that things have come together mm. so far. So that there must be a website and more information uh, on this particular yeah. event? That's right. They can go to www.sidhwani.com mm -hmm. um, and um, they can also go to the anywherefestival.com. Right. So is there a telephone number they can call on as well or just go uh, to the no, website? They, they just go to the website and they book online. Ah, okay. Yeah. And uh, so if, uh, what's the program on that particular day? Uh, so on two days? The two days, that we, we're going to start at 2.30 and it'll, it'll contain a segment of, there are three segments through the show. We're going to have music, dance and rhythm and also an additional um, aspect of poetry and painting. Okay. So we'll have a live painter here. We'll also have poetry incorporated within the, as, as a part of the program. Uh -huh. So the two day f uh, sort of festival, is it, uh, do you want to call it as a festival or a program? No, it's, it's just two days of events. The same thing will be shown on two days and mm -hmm. people can pick any which day to come. Ah, okay. Yeah. So it's going to be repeated. So yeah. what happens on 16th will be repeated on 17th. That's right. Ah, okay. So people miss out because, you know, it's a weekend, everyone's busy. Yes. So we decided to keep it across two days and mm. If there is one final message you want to send out to the viewers, what would that be, Sumanthi? I would say that um, I've got it written down here. Mm, art, yes. art, poetry, music and dance have given Indian women the opportunity to explore and express their true emotions. And these art forms have grown and developed to empower women and encourage their creativity and individuality. And we want to see this grow within an Australian atmosphere, mm. environment. Well said, Sumanthi. All the very best. Thank you. Ni sari ma ni sari ma pa ni sa Ni sari ma ni sari pa ma ni sa Ni sari ma ni sari ma pa ni Sari ma ni sari pa ni sa Ni sa ni pa ma pa ni Sa ni pa ma ni ri ma pa ni sa